competition. Because she is, of course, a Swiss national. So, um, this is Winnie's first time at Cruft. So Catherine's been here before, but this is Winnie's first time. Apparently she's a great character, loves swimming and agility, and carrying the most em enormous tree branches back from, uh, from the brooks. It makes a habit of taking people out with them, apparently, so catching them on the back of the knees. So here they go, this is a very fast dog. Going around here, have to be careful to touch the white bits on the equipment that beautifully run through that corner. Up onto the dog walk now, this is a cracking run, give a big round of applause over the last jump, what a super fly is, his registered name. Again, being careful to get the right entrance to the tunnel there. Chris is uh, still at school, he's in the lower sixth form at school. It's his first ever dog and he's trained him from a puppy. So don't forget, he's been through a lot of competitions and had a lot of successes to even get here in the first place. So uh, that's not a bad going. Uh, ran for the Welsh team at the KC International Festival last year. Got the only clear round in the team. Oh dear, that was a bit of commentator's curse there, wasn't it? And give him a big round of applause and carry on with the run. But we've just seen what potential this dog has got. What a fantastic run from Chris. And fly, well done. Ready? This is a six-year-old border collie. Windmallon Indiscreet, apparently. Indy uh, suffered a major injury last year and had to have surgery, so it was touch and go to uh, get a fit for today, apparently. So uh, that was obviously after they qualified for this competition. Uh, beautifully run so far. Uh, started agility ten years ago, uh, Lisa did, obviously not the dog, and started with the German Shepherd dog. She's now got four collies, including Indy's son, Kai. Uh, they train with Dartford Dog Training Club and St. Edward's, so do lots of training there. Unfortunately, just came out of the weaves a little bit early, so uh, you've got a choice if you're coming out of the weaves early. You can either try and remember where you came out and go back in, but most of us can't remember that, so we go back to the start, as uh, Lisa did there. Oh, a little bit of direction needed there. And Indy's doing... Oh, he's not sure about that jump. There's somebody scary up in the audience in that corner, I think. And <laughs> here he comes over the dog walk. Two more jumps to go. Give him a big round of applause. Well done to Lisa and Indy. Got a bit of competition down in this corner, I think, for the commentary. This is a working sheep dog. A six-year-old dog called the Jump Jet. Now this is actually Jet's birthday today, so he's six years old today, so let's hope he has a nice birthday present, probably put the car, oh dear I have, I've put a curse on him saying that, haven't I, he's gone into the wrong end of the tunnel, what a shame. Um, he was rescued at 18 weeks old in the Crawley area by Anita Brown at Posh Boars, so he's a, it's lovely to see a rescued dog at this level of competition. Apparently he's a real mummy's boy, so uh, maybe he should have brought his mummy with him. <laughs> he's... Don's very well known in the agility circles around the UK. Uh, fervent helper. And he also does a pretty good job of running his dogs as well. Give him a big round sheep dog. Breezer Knights is its registered name. Apparently Ali's a riding instructor, so uh, Pip was rehomed to her at 11 months old, because the family couldn't cope with her. So uh, maybe that's a promise of some things to come. Uh, she's a fantastic pet, but apparently she's happiest when doing agility. And a lot of these dogs, any of you that have sort of pet dogs that are a little bit lively, the agility really does uh, it, it turn them on and they absolutely love doing this. They look forward to the weekends and going off and uh, finding an agility competition somewhere. And this one, this dog's no different. She absolutely loves what she's doing there. Up over the A-frame, making sure she touches the white bits on the other side. This tricky little bit in the corner here. Onto the dog walk. We're going really well so far. Big round of applause. They're coming to the last two jumps. What a lovely run that was. Run the starter's orders whenever you're ready. Apparently he also has a, a, a nickname which is uh, Naughty Neve sometimes. This is a Border Collie, three and a half year old dog. Registered name of Brining Red Rascal. They're really, really pleased to be competing at Crufts again. This is Neve's first time here, so she's not quite sure what she'll make of it. Uh, seems to be coping with it so far. <laughs> Neve is the fourth dog that they've competed uh, at Crufts with, and she follows in the footsteps of three wonderful red and white collies. So, obviously, a fan of the red and whites. Proving herself a joy to train and work with. 
despite being the naughtiest dog she's ever owned. But uh, that's the difference with agility. When the dogs are doing something they like, they seem to behave a little bit better as well. And two more jumps to go. That was a lovely clear round. This is a five-year-old Border Collie. Wood sorrel, bright wings. Mark's been here before on a, a number of occasions, but this is the dog's first time here at Crufts. Uh, they've had a great year winning the Ken Kennel Club Novice Cup in August last year. They won the Novice Finals at Olympia and uh, also at Dogs in Need. So what a fantastic achievement to, uh, to win all the classes that qualified to get in here. It's a commentator's curse again, isn't it? As soon as I say something good about the dog, it goes wrong. And it just came out of the weave, so he chose to go back to the start again. But we can see what potential this dog has got. Look at the speed that it goes over the contact equipment. Very careful to touch the white bits either end. Just round into that top corner. It does help, of course, if you can run as well. And here we go. 